Class 1A tonight, Waterloo Columbus plays host to Minneapolis. Both teams looking to make the quarterfinal round. And it was tonight at T.J. McLaughlin Field. And our own Ron Steele got out there and, and checked this ball game out. It was a good one, too, Rick. Let's yeah. start by saying right now that the Columbus Sailors, they won their second-round playoff game, a big shootout over So Sage last week, 42-35. Now, remember, before that game last week, the Sailor defense had only given up 42 points the entire season. For Minneapolis, the Bulldogs come to town after a big road win at perennial powerhouse West Branch. Let's head out to Columbus High School tonight. And Brad Schmidt, of course, trying to take the Sailors to the quarterfinals. And, of course, that's the same goal for Minneapolis head coach Brian Morrison. And the Bulldogs do strike first on a nice drive. Reagan Thornburg right down the middle to his big tight end, Cole Lipper. Cole makes a nice catch inside the 10-yard line for the Bulldogs, making a three-hour trip from Minneapolis. That sets it up for a nice sophomore running back, Anthony Isley. He gets inside the five-yard line right here, and then it's going to be the touchdown pass. Thornburg rolls out right, gets in a little bit of trouble here, finally has to run himself. Then he just flips it over to Josh Darbyshire, who had slipped out of the backfield for the Minneapolis touchdown, 6-0 Bulldogs. Columbus comes right back as the students are having a great time out there at T.J. McLaughlin Field tonight on this beautiful Friday night. Watch this. Carter Gallagher, 15-yard touchdown pass. Beautiful catch here by Caden Hartz. And Caden would have another big one I'm going to show you here in just a minute or so. Then they come back. Watch this. Here's the beautiful screen pass. This is beautifully set up. Carter Gallagher to Josh Hine. Josh really turns on the Jets here. Makes a tremendous no, effort to get into the end zone for the Sailor touchdown. A 13-6 lead. And there's the big 180-pound junior on the sideline for the Sailors. They're not done. Gallagher fires long here. Watch Caden Hartz. Beautiful oh. catch. Nice throw there. Spectacular catch for the Columbus touchdown. They go up 20 to 6 in the second quarter. Wow, that was a nice one. There's the dynamic duo right there for the Sailors on the sideline. Mediapolis, though, comes back late in the second quarter. Now it's going to be Thornburg finding Anthony Isley again in the end zone. This is a Bulldog touchdown. So Columbus has a 20 to 13 lead at halftime. It was a great game out there. It really was, Rick. Yeah, Second be. half now. Columbus strikes her. Carter Gallagher sneaks it in from the one. That puts it up 26-13, Columbus. Mediapolis then comes back again with Anthony Isley. Remember, he's only a sophomore. Oh. Great run here. He thinks he gets in. Oh, he oh. almost gets in the end zone. But they do score on the very next play. Quarterback sneak from Regan Thornburg. And we have a one touchdown game again, 26-20. But here's the backbreaker for Mediapolis. Alex Feldman, he races 90 yards. It's a kickoff return for the Sailor touchdown and a 32 to 20 lead for Columbus. And by the game, that would be your final, Rick. Columbus Sailors move into the class 1A quarterfinals with a 32 to 20 win over Mediapolis tonight and a date with Sigourney Kyoto. Next Friday night, Sig Kyoto beat Dyersville Beckman tonight. 35 to 14. So the Sailors, they've won three state titles. Of course, the last one, 2004, and the quarterback of that Sailor team, of course, was Brad, Brad Schmidt, Smith, the head coach Brad right Brad. now. That was a really, really great team. He's got another one here this week. He's got him on a roll, Ron. That's right. So I don't know where that game is with Sig Kyoto because they're, they're a great team, too. In fact, Sig Kyoto 